Hello, my name is Gareth Jenner, and we are TrustStamp. We answer two fundamental questions. Who are you? And should I trust you? Another success story with us today, Gareth Jenner, CEO of TrustStamp, an artificial intelligence company focused on providing identity solutions, which has recently set up a wholly owned subsidiary in Malta. Hello, Gareth. Hello, great to be here with you. Same here, great to meet you. Um, so let's go straight into it. If you can let us know more about TrustStamp. Yeah, absolutely. So at its simplest, we answer two questions that are fundamental to the way we all relate to each other and to businesses. Who are you and do I trust you? But that takes us on a spectrum from one of America's largest credit card issuing banks, where we help people to open accounts, get access when they're locked out of their accounts, while also spotting the bad guys who try to get access to accounts. At the other end of the spectrum, we work, for instance, with MasterCard in Africa, where we're creating identities for people with no legal identity or without the means to prove their identity. And that enables them to get vaccinations for their children and to get aid for their families. What strategy did you have of expanding over the last five years? Absolutely. So we started the company in 2016 what we did first was to get one very large partner. So we found an American bank that had over 60 million customers and over 80 million accounts. And they were prepared to invest and to provide us with the resources to help us build our product. And in fact, they had an exclusive right to use it financially until the end of 2018. And our strategy then was to look for another really large customer. And MasterCard became that second large customer. And that took us through 2019 and 2020 was the year for global expansion. We started out because we met somebody from Malta Enterprise at a conference and started to tell me about the wonders of Malta. I mean, yes, while we smile and the weather was a huge advantage and the culture and the people, I mean, the fact is that Malta was competing with a lot of other countries for our decision. Yeah, we've been here for four months. In four months, our growth has equaled the whole of the growth in the prior five years. And that probably gives you an indication of what we see the potential as in Malta. That's great to hear. In fact, I'd like to introduce with us Dana Farooja, CEO of Tech.mt. We'd like to ask you um, how the, the assistance that TrustStamp has, has gained uh, from Tech.mt. Obviously, as Mr. Mr. Jenner was saying, um, uh, we boast to be a culture, a very welcoming culture. And uh, all these entities that he has been mentioning, TechMT, Malta Enterprise, Trade Malta, um, they are all established so that any foreign direct investment finds it easy to uh, be able to surf their way through the Maltese culture and the Maltese authorities to establish their business here. And I'm very happy to hear as well how much growth they have experienced since they have established themselves here in Malta. Our aim is to showcase the talents we have in Malta, to showcase also the foreign direct investment that we are capable of attracting to our island and also to keep insisting on how attractive our island is when it comes um, to international players, considering where they are going to open up their businesses when it comes especially to technology. I consider myself very lucky but obviously this comes thanks to a lot of hard work uh, between all entities, all entities working together, the government, the government direction, and uh, obviously us as a nation being so open to trade. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Dana. Um, and Tech.mt and Gadgets will be with you next time. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.